New Brunswick legislator. Charles LeBlanc here. Go to Google. Write Charles LeBlanc, you'll see my blog. Tomorrow, or a couple hours, is going to be the first day of spring. Spring is finally here. And we're going to relax. We had, the weather wasn't that bad. But never mind that. The government is security, supposed to be security for the people. You know, they're pr supposed to protect the people. Sometimes they go overboard, like with this uh, bicycle helmet. New Brunswick is the most obese province in Canada, but the Brian Gallant government is holding firm that any welfare bum or Indian, and now A&W employees that ride a bicycle without a helmet, the police will hunt them down. They're not allowed to exercise. They must die a slow and obese, painful life. Now, speaking of the cops, I got an email this morning, 5.30. At 5.30 in the morning, I guess the police were right next the next street over. Again, I guess there was a home invasion or a break and enter. They had the block all sealed off. They had the canine unit, Enzo, and everything. And uh, people don't know what's going on. Last week, there was another break and enter or whatever, home invasion, three men. I, we don't know the story. I guess they beat up a person. These people are still loose. And last night, something happened. And the police, they only say, well, it happened the south side of Fredericton, downtown, downtown Fredericton. But they don't say where. Before, if you had a police scanner, you would know what's going on. Those days are over. We're just waiting till the first native or welfare bum gets beat up really bad. Three quarters dead by the Fredericton police force or worse off, get killed because the public used to be the watchdog of the police through the police scanners. Now, but personally, I'm glad they got rid of the police scanners. The only reason I'm glad is my blood pressure went down. I don't have to listen to that bullshit. So what I'm saying is there's two weeks, two home invasions. The police are not saying nothing. The public are asking questions. So why do we have a police force in Fredericton anyway? 